What's up, YouTube? I um, just wanted to say this thing real quick. Um, there's something to think about. Alright, so I say this to people, not just about weed, but just about many things, but weed too, drugs too, whatever. Um, if you knew, if you knew that... Alright, let's say you don't know this, but let's say you're about to get by a bus in two months, right? And let's say... Like, let's say I'm talking to a dude who smokes weed all day with all his time. Like, yeah, he has a job or he goes to school. But basically, right after he gets off work, all he wants to do is blaze and be with his friends and smoke weed, right? Do nothing, really, right? And maybe he don't have a girlfriend or maybe he's not, like, doesn't have a good relationship with his family or whatever, you know? And he chooses, like, his lifestyle is promoting those things. Um, whatever, you know? He's not doing much with his life. Now, let's say he's about to get hit by a bus in three months, but he doesn't know it, right? So he continues doing these little things, and then he freaking gets hit by a bus, and then that sucks, right? He freaking died, and, um, you know, he freaking, he went out like that, you know? Uh, maybe, like, at his funeral, like, if I were to be there, and if I were, if I took truth serum right before I gave my eulogy, eulogy is when you stand up and you talk, you know, about the dude, whatever, um, if I, if, like, say if I were to do the eulogy, because I'm sober, right, and I, I look through life as from these point of view, and let's say I took truth serum, so I'm going to be brutally honest, right, before I, before I went up there, I'd be like, poor dude, you know, he didn't do crap with his life, he didn't do anything with his life, he could have, dude's super talented, got a lot of potential, um, so gifted, has so much to offer to this world, to his family, um, to, to, you know, to his community, whatever. Man, he could have done so much, so much more. He didn't even do 10% of what he's capable of. He could have really lived a full life, man. He could have really, really lived a full life. Unfortunately, he didn't, and then he freaking died. That sucks. Poor guy. It's a, it's a sad scenario, you know? That's probably what I would say if I were to take truth serum. Of course, I would never say anything like that. But, um, but yeah, and if he knew, like say he died, right, and he's at the he's at the gates of heaven, and then God's like, um, you know, this is what, did, you know, yeah, this happened. And if God said, if I give you another chance, like let's say you're still going to die in three months, so if I put you back on earth, give you another three months, are you going to do the same thing again? This dude would be like, absolutely not. I'm going to live a full life for three months instead. So, of course, I, I can almost guarantee 99, 999 people out of a 1,000 in that same exact scenario, when they come back to Earth, knowing they only got 90 days on this Earth, you know, oh, they're about to get hit by a bus no matter what happens, like final de destination style, they're not going to go freaking, you know, smoke weed with their friends like they always do. They're going to, like, freaking, I don't know, go get a job. Like, say, if they don't have one, they don't have any money. They'll go get a job, save up a grand, you know. It takes, like, what, one month to earn a grand minimum wage. And while they're working at that job, they'll probably be living it up, building the relationship with their family, really having fun, rememberable moments, watching Netflix movies with everybody in their family one at a time, you know, going and playing sports, whatever they're good at, whatever they like. Um, and then when they save up that grand on day 30, just freaking catch a plane to, like, Brazil and go in the jungles of Argentina. Just really, li really, really, like, live a full life, you know what I mean? They would not be sitting around smoking weed. And I say that to my friends who are even sober that are, like, like, I have a friend that, like, um, he doesn't hang around with his son at all, you know? And, um, he's not sober anyway. But he doesn't, he's not really, like, addicted, super addicted to, like, alcohol or whatever. But, anyway, I tell him stuff like, dude, build your relationship with your kid, you know? He had a kid when he was, like, 16 or something. And, um, I was like, don't be hanging around, don't even be calling me. Like, don't call me, call your son, you know? Don't hang out with me, hang out with your kid, you know? Don't be looking to go smoke weed or drink with somebody on a Tuesday. Go freaking look to kick it with your kid, read him a book, you know? I tell them all the time, bro, if you're about to get hit by a bus in 90 days, I guarantee, and you knew it, I guarantee you, you would, you would make sure your son remembers you like crazy. You, you would like build that relationship, 
the best you can, man. Instead of spending twenty dollars here and thirty dollars there on weed and beer and cigarettes, man, you'd be taking your kid to like theme parks. You'd be like, you know, buying them books, like whatever, you know, whatever makes them happy. You would take them to the kid movies that come out. Like, bro, nourish your relationship with your son. You know, he doesn't really, um, he doesn't really live with his kid. Um, you know. Anyway, just stuff like that. that. That sort of thing applies to more than, like, if you already achieved the goal of being sober, that's something that you should really think about. You know, life is, oh, life is just too good. It's too important and it's too deep and it's too meaningful. And if you do think, like, if you hadn't quit weed yet, then you are no, nowhere near, nowhere near, um, nowhere near acknowledging how meaningful life really is. Congratulations if you if you brought yourself to be sober, then that means you you really care and you're on your way to that. But if there's any part of your life that you can improve in this way, I really recommend it and really think about it, man. Life is so important. And you know what? I'll just go ahead and, and let you know. This is the honest truth. The most important thing in in this life is relationships. Your relationship with your family, the relationship with God, and your relationship with your friends. Okay, that's more important than money. It's more important than anything. Billionaires kill themselves sometimes because they don't have any relationships with anybody. Okay, remember that. All right, man, be good. I hope you guys do it. Be good.